Hey guys, it's April with Olympian Exotics. And today we are going to learn about the Lineatus house snake. One of the most common questions that I get asked is, is this a Lineatus? Um, and the short answer is probably not. Uh, there's a lot of striped brown house snakes that come in from places like Togo uh, that come in with the black house snakes that are striped and there's some differences and some of which are really obvious and so today we're going to learn how to tell them apart. Okay, so I brought out some of both species uh, of various ages here so that we can kind of see the differences. So let's see, let's start with adults because that's I think the most easiest way to tell. All right, so here at the very bottom is an adult female togo stripe. So this is a fully, it's a striped fully. Um, she's about 230, 250 grams, I think, last I weighed her. She's a really big girl. You can see on my hand there. Pretty big. Okay. So let's put a female adult breeder lineatus on there. Okay. So let's put them side by side. So you can see that she is a solid twice her size, okay? And that's common. That is the way it is because lineatus are a smaller species of house snake. They also have the really, really big eyes that, if I can get it to zoom in a little here, you see that she has kind of bigger eyes. And then in the togo, they're really not that pronounced, okay? So that is adult females. If you see an adult female and she's over 200 grams, that's a togo, okay? So that's an easy way to tell. Then we look at some males, okay? So this is a togo female, that is a togo male, and this, beautiful boy here is a lineatus male okay so he is again solidly almost twice you know his size so there you go you got some breeder lineatus and then you got some breeder Togos. Okay. All right. Okay. So then what about babies? Um, well, the size difference goes right down to babies. Okay. So this one here is the Lineatus baby. Okay. And it's actually a good bit older too than this, which is the Togo. So another difference that you can tell across the two is that in Togos, their stripes tend to be yellow, okay? And they tend to break there at the head, although that's not always the case, okay? So that one's a Togo, and the stripes are yellow, and they are pretty thin, and they tend to disappear down the body. Really good quality stripe fully can have stripes that run the entire length of the body but they're not as wide and they're not as um, white so I'll show you this other male here you see the big eyes there right so white white stripes running down the body okay um, and it's really obvious in this girl the white white stripes Okay, and it goes the whole length of the body. Whereas in the togos, the stripes 
tend to be pretty lean and oftentimes will disappear fairly quickly or be very, very thin. Okay? And a quality fully, which is what I obviously try to breed, <laughs> is uh, they can retain the stripes. Um, obviously, I try to keep the stripes in as much as possible. So that's that's one of this year's yearling um, babies that we are uh, going to be offering for sale pretty soon. Um, so yeah, that's you know, how you can tell them apart. Basically, the points to look for is, you know, the lionitis will have the really, really big kind of eye, and then the wider white stripes and be a lot smaller. Whereas the togos are gonna be a lot bigger, they're gonna have less defined stripes, and they're going to be, um, a little more yellow. The stripes are a little more likely to be yellow than to be white like these are. Okay. There's also a little bit of a difference in the way that the stripes meet up at the face. You can see that on the scale there. Um, it's a little bit different the angle that the stripes come down on togos see if I can get the camera to focus. So it's just a little bit of a difference there, um, but it is, you know, something that you can kind of use to help you figure it out. Okay, well I hope this helps. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions. Alright, thanks guys.